Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome to a Thursday Bins Hall. This is a big one. It's a capital B, big, capital B, Bins Hall. I think every every time, Ryan, every, so every, every time big. Ryan says that, in my opinion, this is not that big. It's, no, it could definitely be bigger. It's decent like, size, but it's not like tremendously huge. No, we're not going to be sitting here for three hours. Thank but God. we do have some great, exciting stuff. Some stuff that I'd be pumped to find even in like a normal thrift store or consignment oh, yeah. store. So I'm quite excited with the stuff that at least I have to show you guys. I think I have a nice little smattering of all of my little touchstones. I got a couple of bougie things. I got a couple of quirky fun things. I got a couple of vintage things. Yeah. Bread and butter, which is always important. And then just like... Run of the mill. I don't know if I really have any bougie, but I always say that and then it ends up that I do. So I don't think I do, but there oh. probably is somewhere in here. Yeah. So we're going to jump into it pretty quick. We're going to try to get jumping. We've got to get motating. I would, my like to, would I would like to fit all this into one part. But before we jump into it, first off, if you're new, please hit subscribe because we have fun bins hauls and thrift hauls and stuff we all the time. Many good things. And if you're not new, we love a good thumbs up, so Hi. that would be appreciated. Hello, family. Also, I just want to remind you guys that on Saturday, Ryan will be in the normal What's Old Saturday. It'll just be like every other What's Old Saturday. It's but then well. the next week, Tuesday will be just me. Thursday will be just me because he's on vacation at Disney. And then Saturday will be me and my mother, Debbie. Debbie. I'll have to do, like, I'll send little updates. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to have a little clip of Ryan in each one, hopefully. Maybe just, like, a teeny little, like, trip update or something. Yeah. So it's not just me. It'll be super fun. But, yeah, I wanted to point out that Debbie's my mom because I have actually seen a couple comments say, who is this Debbie you guys bring up? And I'm like, Debbie's I forget mother. that there's always, like... <laughs> people don't know who Debbie well, is. <laughs> there's always, like, new Sorry. people that may hop in that didn't know, like, Debbie's my mom. So when I say something like goes to Debbie for her to sell or to keep or whatever. That's who we're talking about. Debbie. And she's going to be in next, next What's Old Saturday. So mm -hmm. a week from this, this Saturday. Week. The week after. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to try to power through it, like I said, to fit it into one part without being super long. Tuesday's video was quite long, so I'm trying to avoid that. Editing Jack is not a huge fan of like the good old 45 minute videos. But... They are. I don't have to do anything. Thank God. But like they're do. a very long time commitment. Yes. So, we are going to start with shoes and accessories and bags, and I'm going to just show all of mine, and then Ryan's going to show all of his. And we actually did really... We got quite a few shoes. Yes. I feel like I always am like, oh, I don't want to get that many pairs of shoes, and then I usually end up getting, like, God knows how many pairs of shoes. I actually don't okay. have, like, a ton of shoes in my store, so... Oh, I just saw what size these are. Okay. No, that's okay. So, Paul Green sizes are weird, remember? Oh, okay, good. I was going to say, they don't... Not to spoil the surprise, but... <laughs> okay, so my first thing, <laughs> surprise, surprise, <laughs> is a pair of Paul Green boots. So I never get Paul Green shockingly we see it a lot around here i don't know if everyone does we got a lot of little minnesotan old women that love paul green yeah now. but paul green doesn't excite me i know it has a lot of retail value mm -hmm. but i don't in my opinion it doesn't have that much resale value but i thought these were pretty cute and ryan had recently sold a pair so i was like i'm just gonna try them oh, these are nice. so these are paul green and they're in really good shape and they're really nice suede and of course chelsea boots are very popular this year so i thought that might be a benefit as well they're a Paul Green four and a half, which Ryan has just informed me is something else. It's, I don't, Paul Green, if you're watching, for what? You doing the four and a halfs for what? They, just make the regular sizes. These are like, it's like a six and a I half or a say, seven and a half. It's gonna, like add two or add three. I was going to say they look like a six. I don't know. So, these are probably a six or a six and a half. I don't really know, but we're going to give Paul Green a shot. Those are nice. Those are good. Got some more suede boots. And these are healed ones. And these are actually by Jeffrey Campbell, which you just have to believe me because as we always know, you can't see inside. And it's not on the bottom, but these are Jeffrey Campbell and it's the newer Jeffrey Campbell, like emboss label. Whatever. Oh, it's not the like the Havana's. One of them is missing the back drawstring, which is this one. And to me, that's fine since they were in the bins. That would definitely deter me in the thrift store from buying them. But in yeah. the bins, that's totally fine. Totally you can good. just put something else on there. You could tie a little string. If you really were worried about it or bothered by it, you could cut off the other one That's and really soft. and tie like the same ribbon to each of them or something. Yeah. And those are a size eight. These are nice. Then I'll do my hats next. So we have a classic wool beret. I love berets. Doesn't Bang. matter the brand. This has no brand, but I can tell that it's wool. And so I'll just probably list it as like vintage because probably is. 
Then we have a cowboy hat, and this is what I was wearing in the thumbnail. It's very dark on camera. Unless, it's like a like a chocolate brown. Yeah, it's like chalk. It's like Hershey. It's not like black. And this is by Stetson. And Stetson is a bolo when it comes to hats. It's very, very expensive. I remember one time on Instagram, there was an ad for how Stetson hats are made. And it was really interesting. It was like they wet them and they press them. And like, yeah, I don't... The hat making process confuses me. I've seen how they do it and I don't understand. But this is a large. And I don't really know if it's men's or women's. It would have fit me. I think cow <laughs> do cowboy? Yeah, well. I don't know. I don't, I'm sure anyone would wear that. The Stetson way. people know. Yeah. I don't need to. Then, this is a really, really good find. These are some Chelsea leather wedge boots. And these are actually by Sorel. These are really cute. These are a size a eight as well. So you could get the Jeffrey Campbells and the Sorels. These are super nice. These are called... I don't remember. Something They're not Chelsea. the Joan of the Arctic. No, but these, I... By the way, everybody, everything you see should be listed. Yes. By both of us. Poshmark in the description. Because I was just going to say, these are actually already listed, and I have these listed for 130 which is about what comps were. Some people have them even like 150 and stuff, and mine are literally in super good condition. I love the Sorel leather. But I'm trying 130 It's quite nice. Yeah. That was really exciting to find. Then we have another pair of boots. Let's just power through these boots. These are some really cute, like, studded, chunky heel leather boots, and these are actually by Rebecca Minguova. I feel like we haven't said that in a while. Because I hate picking up Rebecca Minkoff. I will in the bins, but I and like hate. at the Goodwill, but I don't want to pay up I for like her. Rebecca Minkoff's leather a lot. I'll give her that. But I hate reselling it. For me, it just is terrible. But yeah. these, I think, are cute. They are cute. Also, fun fact, Real Real takes Rebecca Minkoff. Mm -hmm. So in the bins, I'm not going to skip it. And yeah, I like the studs on these. Oh, so. and somebody had a little thing put on. They yeah. had them resold. That's nice. And That's expensive. These are size seven. Those are cute. Then we got more boots, and I'm sorry everyone, but these are actually sold. I need to ship them out tomorrow. Oh, the noise of this makes my teeth hurt. <laughs> it's like that, and when somebody rubs in a balloon, I literally just feel it's like, like my noise. teeth are gonna like... So these are new with tags, Zara that. Trafalic. And one time you guys all taught us what Trafalic means, and I definitely okay, don't we're remember. We're gonna separate those. So oh. these are also a size 9, and they're brand new, and I guess it doesn't matter because they're sold. But they're pretty cute. Once again, the Chelsea boots. They got, a little, too good. they got a little penny loafer. Honestly, penny like the on. only thing I like to sell by Zara, basically, is shoes. Is the shoes and the sweaters. Yes. Or blogger favorites. So, last pair of shoes, and, oh... These are super cute. These are from a consignment store. I don't, know, I don't know how these got in the bag. These are free people. I'm just going to throw those to the side. Nice little brown. They're brand new. <laughs> <laughs> I got one bag, and then I will hand the microphone over to Ryan. We did a lot of shopping this week, so the things might have got a little crossed. <laughs> so this is a bucket bag, and if you know your brands, you probably already know who nice this is. Line. This is Kate Spade, and this, I don't, this is like her old logo. She doesn't use this anymore, or they don't use this anymore. This is the logo right here. It's like the two this and the two that's. And this is a like quilted bucket bag. And actually this is in like insanely good shape because something like this would get dirty so fast. Mm -hmm. So I am just gonna like dye a little bit on the edges, re-dye the edges of the straps. And then it's in like almost new condition. Oh, it's on the strap. I thought this was just kind of like Y2K-ish. Yeah, the girlies. By being, like, quilted and pink-lined, and so... And it has this, like, little cinchy thing. Yeah, and because of, like, just the condition it was in, I was like, yeah, I'll sure. get that, so... I have many, 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 many pairs of shoes. So here we go. First up... So new, deep breath. <gasps> first up is a new type pair of Crocs shoes. This is called the Hoover Slip-On in Iguana and White, which I love how they describe this color. Iguana. So, iguana. These are new with tags. I thought they were going to be Vans when I first grabbed them but they were actually Crocs. So most of the ones that I'm about to show you came out of one bin. So the way our bins works is it's one person per bin, and when you switch them out, the first person... So, like, if I'm at a bin and I wheel it away to switch it out, I'm first in line to get the next one. So that's where most of these came from. Um, so which is why I we was able to stood, just kind of, like... We both stood and waited for a switch out, yeah. Which, which is, is actually, it. for us, kind of a rare occurrence. Yes. At least for me. Um, so they're literally brand new. They still have, like, the tissue paper inside. They are a men's 7 or a women's 9. I think these are adorable with the little white soles. Super cute. I got three pairs of all birds this trip. I got two women's 
and one pair of men's. The men's, I think these are called the tree skippers or the tree skimmers. It's TS on the inside of the tag, whatever that means. These are a men's 11. Just a nice little, I thought they were kind of like bleached, like they had been worn, but they're just like a charcoal gray color. And then I got two pairs of the women's classic wool runners. These, I kind of wish these were my size. I like this color. It's like a deep navy, almost a black. These are a women's 10. And these are kind of tiny. These are women's six, and they've all been nice and washed to say all smell really delicious and wonderful. Just delicious. The, yeah, I put a little um the fabric stuff in them, so they smell so good. Do you eat soap? Little delicious. Bit. You don't you don't uh, eat, you know, do no. a little quick once in the mouth. And neither do you. That's disgusting. <laughs> these are just the classic, like speckled gray color. Those are super nice. Jack's question of the day. Do all birds sell for you? Because they don't for me and they do for Ryan. They don't sell for a ton for me. I But I'll still sell them. I don't I'll still like, pick them up. I don't really like all birds. So these I grabbed because they were literally, they've only been worn maybe once or twice. Um, the brand is nothing to like, you know, gawk at. It's just Skechers. But I just thought they were so cute. And they're real leather on the top. And I like these little flowers. They actually have, like, a good amount of weight to them. So, like, they don't feel super cheap. And these are a women's nine and a half. Then I found this pair of Sam Edelman's. Um, this, pair of Sam, oh. this pair of Sam Edelman, oh. this style of Sam Edelman, it does really well. They're called the, not the Hillary, but the are they? Hazel. The Hazel. They're called the Hazel Heel. These are, like, my favorite Sam Edelman. These, they make them in every single size, pattern, color, shape, whatever you want. These are denim. And I yes. love that. What? That's so I know. Cool. I had never seen a pair in a denim. I always thought they were like lithers. Good for a country wedding or for the 4th of July. I don't think I'd wear a heel on a grass. On a grass. Unless you're Rihanna. But like, I wouldn't do that. Um, These are an eight and a half. Then I found a pair of Mephistos. And I usually don't find too many pairs of Mephistos. These are cute. But I like the red metallic leather. I think that's really fun. And I was also drawn to one because they're a 42. And I don't remember who I was watching, but somebody said their sell-through rate for, like, bigger-sized women's shoes was insane. So I was like, eh, okay, sure. So I decided to not throw them all back. Um, I like these. I think they're cute. Yeah, I like them. And then I found this little pair of Yeehaw boots. These are, shockingly, Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren, which I didn't even know kind of see it. No, I had no idea that they made shoes. Um, these are in really, really nice condition. I love them. I love this, like, little westerny detail thing on them. I thought they were fry because they had this, and then they weren't, but that's okay. These are a seven and a half. Oh, turn the light off. My bad. Kick the light off. Kick the light off. She says, I'm done now. And then, so this is me trying sneakers. Um, I don't know anything about sneakers. So these were the last things that I pulled out of the bin. And I know that, like, the weirder the sneaker looks, like, the more expensive it is, generally. So I was like, eh, sure. This is a pair of Nike Air Force Ones, and do not ask me to tell you the celebrity that they collabed with for these. They have definitely seen some wear, but I was like, well, you know what? They're in the bins. I'll pay, like, three bucks for them, so it's whatever. Um, they're a women's seven, I think, seven and a half, but they're a child's Five and a half, which when I used to work in closet is what people do to get cheaper sneakers is if you can fit the kid sizes, they'll go by the kid sizes. Mm -hmm. But they fit women's. So I have them listed as women's. And then we get into the, the leather shoes because I separate them. Except, so, this except for these. These are not leather. <laughs> Let's get into the leather These are just shoes. on top. So this, I was pumped to find these. Yeah. This is a pair of Jeffrey Campbell clear, clear little like heeled booties. I'm obsessed with these. I think they're so fun. Not as fun as my clear story. I was going to say, no, fun. they definitely don't do like, you know, you can't see my face. Um, these are a size eight, and I was honest to God shocked to find them in this good of condition in the bins. They're not yellowed. They're not broken. All the plastic's intact. Nothing came undone. Like, these are she's here. so cool. I believe these are called the, the Hurricane. Like, I'd literally it's pay... Like a, it's like a tropical storm name. I would literally pay like 25 at Nordstrom Rack for these. These are adorable. Yeah. I love them. Then I found, speaking of bigger size women's shoes, I almost kept these because I like them. This is a pair of Everlane shoes. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Probably not. So this is, I don't remember the name of it, but it's like the loafer that you can wear down or you can like pop this. Kind of like transforming or You whatever. can like pop that 
convertible. Convertible, that's what it is. Pop the ankle back, and then you got a loafer. Um, these are a women's size 11. These are so, hello, these They're are so nice. beautiful. All So I cleaned up all the shoes before I listed them. And these just needed a little bit of leather conditioner, a little bit, you know, screw some of that bin gunk off, and we are good to go. They're beautiful. And the leather is so, 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 so nice. Then I found this little pair of Madewell shoes. I like these because they have the fun little rounded heel. Um, they do have a little bit of wear on each of the toes, but like I don't really think that's that big of a deal. These are a size eight and a half as well, and they're super nice. I love the Madewell leather. I think they're so cute. I love them. Okay, so these were kind of a disappointment. I'm going to be completely honest. So I grabbed them without Google <laughs> without Googling them because I was like, oh, it's a really nice pair of black leather loafers. Like, it's going to be something fancy. They're just ASOS. So, you know. They're still really mm, cool. Not as much as I would have hoped for, but, like, they're adorable. So I think... ASOS size 7 is American size 9. I have these listed as, like, the correct size, so if you're interested, go over there. Um, the only little thing about them is the toes are a little worn, and then on the tongue of the shoe, it has some um, uh, wear bad. from, like, where the laces grip on it. But it's not that big of a deal. Then, one of my last pairs of shoes. Whatever oh, is. Second to last. Okay. Um, so this is a new brand to me, but I was watching Courtney Little's Com Tags, Love Her to Death, and she mentioned this brand, and I was like, oh, that brand's expensive. Oopsies. I've definitely passed on it before. So there's no way that you're going to be able to see in this black hole of a boot. Um, but these are Pierre Hardy. I'd never really, like, bothered to look him up before because whenever I see him at consignment stores, it's always, like, really out of my budget expensive. So I was like, oh, cool. These are the double buckle something, something, something. They got a name to them. Very, very nice I was going to say, the wow. leather is so soft. Very These are a size 36. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, somebody's had them um, resold because they have Vibram soles on them. This leather is very soft. The leather on these shoes is so soft. Will you put that bag back in there? Thank you. And then my last pair of shoes. You don't put the shoes in the bag, you put the bag in the shoes. You put the bag in the shoes. My last pair of shoes is a good old pair of Birkin clocks. This is the, oh, Boston. The Boston something some clog style. They are a 41, which I think is different. Oh, there it is. Ladies 10, men's 8. So I have them listed as both. All I really had to do for these was a little bit of leather conditioner and a little bit of re-dye on the toes just to kind of like spiff them up a little bit. The soles have a little bit of wear because you can tell somebody wore them. But other than that, they are in quite nice condition. The ankles haven't been worn down. The soles, heels. the heels, the ankles, whatever they are. The back part. All right, clothing toy. Oh. Close in one second. Okay, so <laughs> I forgot that I had... It's so tiny. I almost forgot it. This is a Coach little Kiss Lock um, coin purse. And I was under the assumption... It says Coach button in the bottom. I was under the assumption that this was going to be like a little $10, $20 flip. Um, plot twist, this thing is rare and I'll get out, and people are selling them for like $170 to $200. I have mine listed for $170, and I'm sending out $150 with free shipping. The, That's insane. For size reference. Glamour, explain that to me. It is literally <laughs> the smallest... Yeah. It's tiny. And apparently it was made in 80, like late 80s, early 90s, um, and they're just hard to find. So apparently... You know, if somebody wants to give me $150 for a coin purse, I'm not going to say no, you know? Okay, now on to the clothes. And my first item is the, the item. Texas version of Yale. Yale. <laughs> Get it? No. Like a Tex like a southern accent, how you'd say yell. I could hear you don't yell at me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. <laughs> Okay, so this is a Yale. <laughs> now every time I'm going to think it's a su it's Southern Yale. Yale. Yeah. Now don't you Yale. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so this is a okay. Yale University College. That's funny. Sweatshirt hoodie. Yeah. Hoodie. And this is one that is by Cham Campion. Champion. And it is a size small. And it probably was like unisex originally. It's got a little champion thing. But Ryan had literally, the day before we went to the bin, sold a Yale, Yale. Yale thing, so... Okay, so when I listed mine, I posted it on my Instagram, and everybody was talking about Princess Diana. Did she go to Yale? Probably. Or was she just, like, a Yale adjacent? 
Anyway. Next up is a bra. A bra. And this is a really cute bra. It's a bra. sports bra that crosses over like that. And this like is by mask. Lululemon. And I do not think that there is any label or size in this anymore. Actually, I hadn't checked. There probably is. Check my closet if you're interested. I'm not going to sit here like literally wrestling that With thing. With these bras, they like hide them. Yes. And then in the same bin, some of us have liked athletic wear. These are black, all black, high-waisted Zaya leggings, which is like the new thing, even it's, though honestly, so far, it's hit or miss. It's kind <laughs> of like the company that took the position of the Yes, route. it's a new MLM. If you catch me. And it is a size six or eight. So I guess that's a benefit is that they kind of like are multi-sizes. And so. they're very expensive. Yeah, they are. Then, okay, this is so cute. And it's I a brand that those. I literally would never pick up, but like this is so cute. Never say never. So it's Lewin Gray by Loft, and I think that's the new label because it usually didn't say like by Loft. It was just Lewin Gray. Mm -hmm. Extra small, and it is this sweatshirt. And if you can't tell from that far away what this is, is on it, adorable. It is little pumpkin pie slices. This is. I feel like oh this was gosh. everywhere on this the internet, is, like right before Thanksgiving. These are so cute. So freaking cute like i love that i would just wait so much i wouldn't sell to anybody until thanksgiving and i'd be like no make an instagram post with it <laughs> you better the, post go this. get the pie barbara <laughs> then we have adletta adletta and this is a size medium and i'm not even gonna guess how old this label is because i don't know they just i don't it's know. not the newest one i can I tell know you that, that yeah. confidently so this is like a <laughs> ribbed dark red very soft cardigan and it's an actually like really good shape. I just need to do like a little lint rolling. I guess it's from 2016. Wow, and it's like polyester and rayon, but it's like super soft. I don't know being... what they put in the polyester and the rayon now, but it's soft. Yeah. It's a soft fabric. And then another brand, I don't know, I was gonna say another brand I don't always pick up because, well, I guess I don't always pick up Athleta. <laughs> um, J. Crew Mercantile. Oh. Extra small. This is super And this cute. is like a linen, wrap not floral yeah i guess floral floral dress it's like a boutique yeah and it says extra small but honestly like this looks bigger than an extra small to me oh yeah which kind of confuses me uh yeah mm -hmm. i think it's cute that's really cute it feels like linen it's at least linen blend linen okay my first thing i'm gonna psych everybody up here i found this beautiful purple arcteryx hoodie it's absolutely, it's a hoodie. well, hoodie, coat, fleece, something, I don't know. Um, it has two little zipper front pockets and then the little mock neck. And then on the back, wah, 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 it has a company name on it. But like, it blends in so well, you honestly can't really tell because it's the same shade of purple. Also, so like, it's so nice anyway. This is a size women's large, if you're wondering. Very, very nice. Then I found this, a very nice man at the bin. Threw this to me when I said, sir, re throw that to me. This is a oh, really yeah. fun... He was like, that's from the 80s. He was like, that's cool. I was like, thanks. Um, this is a really fun, like, checker printed. They're not, like, um, actually, like, individual squares. It's just, like, a print. Little golf squirt. Mm -hmm. The brand is Loudmouth, and it has, like, the shorts underneath it. So, Loudmouth is a really crazy golf brand. And this is a women's eight... And I have it listed as, like, a skirt instead of a golf score because I don't think a trendy millennial is shopping for golf wear. Um, then I found this just in time for the Valentine's Day. This really oh, cute so Rails t-shirt, size small. This is the Clara t-shirt. Back when I used to find all those star print Rails t-shirts, this is the same style. Just, like, a little linen They've blend. They've a watermelon one of that. T-shirt. That, that so anthro sold and stuff. They do that t-shirt a lot. Quite adorable. This was, I think, one of my only, I say one of my only vintage finds, and then most of the things in this haul are going to be vintage. Um, so this is a vintage, I want to say late 70s, early 80s, just based off of the colors. Um, a little, oh, excuse me, hiccup, a little prairie dress. I am absolutely obsessed with this. It has the shearing on the top with the lace down detail and the little tie, and then it has the little tie on the back, and the really pretty like lacy ruffly like flow down a hill if you're laura ingles wilder skirt just kick mary down the hill and that's the size like i think like <laughs> okay. i'm sorry they mesmerized right. me like small it's listed so i'm gonna go check her 
Next for me is an anthro piece, and this is by a brand that isn't super common. It's Nobad, Nomad by Morgan Carper. Nobad. Carper. And this is actually a tunic. I thought it was a dress, but since it splits on the sides, it's a tunic. But it's like a turtleneck sweater, very long It's really tunic. cute. Does it split? And yeah, yeah it splits. So it has fringe. fringe. And I already found the picture, so it is actually anthro. And it's a size small. And that's kind of all I have to say about this. It's cute. It's cute. Then we have a set of pajamas. Jammies. Pajamas. And these are by Bowden. And that's a newer Bowden label. And these are size US 2. I had found the pants and I was already excited because this print is really, really cute. And then Ryan found me the top. And unfortunately, the top is missing a handful of the buttons. Like, we can just, they're just little. Like half of them. They're just small plastic buttons we can replace Which, those. Eh, I might just list it that way. <laughs> <laughs> like replace and your own they're buttons. they're both size two and I'm like replace your own buttons. Replace your own buttons, Barbara. So this I literally would have never guessed the brand. And I'm gonna cover the brand at first and show you. Oh my god, it's Miss Sony. Well yeah, it's at first not. I was like, haha, like a weird Chico's or Christopher and Banks right, knockoff like... of Miss Sony. Cause like we've all seen this. Literally we've all seen this fabric. Very this is familiar. by three people. Not surprised. I'm very surprised. Extra small. It's a crop top. It, I think once I find the model picture, it'll probably be pretty cute. Yeah. But literally, like, this is Christopher and Banks material. <laughs> it's very confusing They went to, to the same factory that day. Now, this is one of my favorite finds of the day. This is a Sundance piece, and the person cut the size off, which is always so weird to me, because I'm like, okay, if the tag bothered you, why just the size part of it? Like, I mean, thank you for keeping the label in. People but... are weird. This is a turtleneck that is color block. I love and this. And oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I've actually had this same Sundance sweater in green, blue, and I think like rust red. Do you know who else has had this Sundance sweater? Debbie. Debbie has owned this it is her in her own personal collection. Style of sweater. Luckily, I think this is like a smaller medium, so Debbie can't put her grubby little fingers on it. <laughs> She's gonna try though. <laughs> but then we have a torrid item, and this is a three or a three X. And it's this super soft, like, half sleeve sweater with this, like, oh, cut out crossover great. detail on the chest area. And this is probably something that I'd probably skip at a normal thrift store, but I will totally get it at the bins. Then we have a splendid item, which I do not always get, but this is really cute. Size small. Oh, I like it. And this is, like, a wrap flannel. It's a really thick, soft flannel. So I actually really it's like really this. It's really nice. And the colors are really cute. It's almost that, like, Hudson Bay color combination. Yeah, it's like a Pendleton blanket. Yeah, so I thought that I'd get that. Then this has to be a blogger favorite. I have yet to look it up. It's Zara Woman, and it is medium. And this is a long, like, summer maxi so dress, like and it is, like, dress. pinstripe, like, a dress shirt, and then it has, like, palm leaves embroidered all over it. I think they're it. ferns. Whatever it is. And I just I don't have it buttoned, but it does have every button. It's missing a belt, it appears, but... You know what we're going to do? Snip them little belt loops off, <sighs> call it a day. This literally has to be a blogger favorite. It's like, super I weird. could see it. So the first thing is something that I need to not forget to bring with me. So Jack found this, and then I brought it. It's going to my mother for when we wear it to the Disney parks. Oh, you did get that? I absolutely did. It says, judge me by your size, too. My mom's also, like, 5'4", so, like, this is going to be funny. And for Christmas, um, I bought her the the ears that Baby Yoda... Like, you know how people wear, like, Mickey ears to the Disney parks? I bought her Baby Yoda ears because, like every other middle-aged mother, she is... There's no limit to her obsession with Baby Yoda. Um, and then on the back, it's adult Yoda, and he is you trying to get it? into the rides. Oh, is that? Oh, it is yeah. adult Yoda. So see, this is what I'm talking about. The Mickey ears people in the park. Santa has those, but Baby Yoda ears. And then he's got the little Mickey ice cream bar. So um, that is going straight into my suitcase. So we're going to Janet, and she's probably going to wear the crap out of it. I'll post a picture. So next is a pair of good old classic black Fabletic Fabulous leggings. Fabulous Um, I hate that the size tag of these is just gone. It's always It's gone. just gone. And there's no, like, size dot, like, Lululemon. So I... They look like a small medium. And they look probably. Crap. Yeah, they're the seven eights. Um, I'd like to pick these up in the vans or like pay less than five bucks for them because people like them and the people that don't have the membership like to buy them. 
Because they're expensive if you don't have they're a membership. They're like $80 new. It's insane. So and this... And if you have a membership, they're like 10 This is a good find. I was pumped to find this. So it's a two-piece set. Literally not anything I would pick up normally because the brand and the style. Um, so the brand is BCPG Max's area, Max Azrael, whatever it is. But it is this beautiful, beautiful. brown, Juicy Couture-esque, Y2K, early 2000s tracksuit. So this is the jacket. And then it has the BCBG on the hood as well. And then the pants are just as good. They are brown, flared, mid-rise pants with all that studding. Oh, and they're both size medium. And I was able to take the bougiest, most depop antiquated picture of these. I'm very excited. I think I'm gonna vomit. I think I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> Speaking of vintage, um, me being like, I didn't get any. I got a lot. So this is vintage anthropology. It's Mave size 14. And imagine, if you will, this was steamed because I still need to steam it. It's this kind of like khaki, like a safari little... I thought this was cute. I think it is really cute. I think yeah. I just need to like find a model picture because it's a halter top. So if I try to the, hang it on a hanger, it's going to look a little The weird. first thing I thought was like Steve Irwin's wife wearing it. I get a the very... I get a very... Um, <laughs> thornberries. Wild thornberries vibe from this. If you don't know the Bob Thorne Bryce, had a little wild kid. Now it's the one he made. I did not want it. It has the shearing on the back, and then it has these two really nice little front pockets, which I really like. So that'll I get steamed. I think that's really cute. I think it's cute. Another vintage item for the girlies. This is, And I was bummed as I'll get out that I couldn't find the jacket. It is a pair of Juicy Couture, size so small, mid-rise, purple, velour. No, this is mid-rise. That has got to be low-rise. That is that is low-rise. Well, you know what? It's a rise. That's like um, a pinky wind, Flared like. pants. And they got the bling on the back. Oh, those are amazing. Sold as then, soul to the devil. Years ago. <laughs> then I found two Lululemon pieces. Uh, this one is just a nice little burgundy t-shirt. I know that these That's are like kind of popular, and I don't know the name of it, but I've sold it before. Um, I hate that they have the matching burgundy symbol on the back because they get left behind. Be but I also don't hate it because... Comfortable, just like day-to-day -day shirt. It's very soft. And then this one, these all just came out of the dryer, so this one needs to be lint rolled. But it's this little three-fourth sleeve. Oh, she is... I'm going to give her some air. There you go. Little top, and if you can tell, it has this really fun like patterning on it and then the symbol yeah see there we go yeah there's the pattern it's like a little something, something. it's just kind of sporadic splatters almost kind of and then the symbol on this one did unfortunately apparently just come off in the washing machine <laughs> which is great <laughs> so i can probably um i don't know if i'll take it to lululemon to have them oh wait no, you can still it's just inside out being this dumb hurts sometimes i will i will say Okay, well, you get the idea. I think we all believe you. We all. I think we all believe. Boop! Good, because I was worried that you were lying. I was worried that I because was Because there's a, a lot you could have gained <laughs> by lying selling about that. a fake cheetah print little lemon item. Okay, I'll let Jack take over because I think it's time for me to sit down for a little bit. Okay, well, can I pass you a bag? Okay. Next up for me, I got a little bag left. A real itty bitty bag. It's about to just like tumble. This Potter Barn bag is not going to make it. This is something <laughs> I would be very excited to find in a consignment store or a normal thrift store. And it is this beautiful pair of Spanx. It's the Seamless Spanx. And they are in camo. I have had these, I think, three times. This is number four. And these are size large, which I don't think I've ever found. This is the usual, like, Spanx label. It's just, like, printed onto the inside seam mm -hmm. and these always do really good they sell literally for like retail 125 dollars is what i sold them no for. that was a while ago not that much i was anymore. gonna say that was like when they were like Ooh. this is really interesting i could see it like <laughs> laying there like this and i was like oh like a metal band t-shirt or those acdc t-shirts um this is a celine dion my heart will go on or your heart my yeah heart my heart will go on, will go on. <laughs> Heavy metal t-shirt. I love this. I was like, what? What? I hope this, this is like official. I'm pretty sure this is like equivalent to a men's large. So base the sizing off that. that. But I was literally like, 
Um, Did Celine Dion herself make that design? I know. I like hope that's best. like official. I hope it was like a Halloween concert she did. <laughs> this is adorable. This is amazing and super cute. This is Minnie Bowden. Oh, super cute. And it's five to six years. I never know how to tell if it's boys or girls. I assume this is a boys. Or does that just mean it's like unisex? I don't know how kids work. I don't think... I will admit that now. I feel like most kids, when they're five and six, are about... It's like when you hit puberty uh, when they start getting different sizes. <laughs> when they're five and six, they're all the same size. I do not know how the children like, work. every now and again, you get a big kindergartner, but almost the same size. But this is like an evergreen green so Sherpa. And it's actually in really good shape. It's not so like cute. matted Sherpa. Like, it's still puffy. So that should do good. That's adorable. Then I have a cabbie item, and cabbie I always just try it for like a couple weeks, and then I always end up consigning it, so that's probably what's gonna happen with this. Cabbie, one size, and Irene owned this, I guess. Irene! <laughs> <laughs> this is a leopard print, like, poncho cape. Irene would own this. And it's one size fits all. <laughs> And that's literally all I have to say about that. It's cute, though. That's I say and I'll do her. one more, and then Ryan can take a turn. This is Chaser, size medium. I really don't buy Chaser, like, anywhere at all anymore, except the bins. Yeah. And this is new with TJ Maxx tag. And it just says One Love. One Love. Wasn't that Very, song? very Chaser-y. Yeah. Okay. Next up for me is an item that I typically don't ever pick up, like bins, thrift store, whatever, but it was new tags, and I thought it was cute. So the brand is Splendid, and it's really fun. You can plant this tag, and there's seeds in it, and like grow flowers. I think Christy Dawn. Does I think that that's too. adorable. Uh, I think Splendid and Christy Dawn are in are a little different bit different <laughs> So this is the it's like the Cerveza or the Costa something with a C little jumpsuit, but I like it because loungewear is still quite popular. And I think this was adorable. That and is. I was Googling it last night. And if it, you notice some like little spots and inconsistencies, it's mostly recycled cotton. So they're like, each item is unique. Yeah. Is and all the imperfections in your item is what make it beautiful like you. I think it's kind of like Wild Fox where it just like has a burnout y look just because it's. Yeah. It's well, no, there's like stains on this. There are? Yeah. There's like little bleach spots. Oh, and they're what? like, that's from the organic cotton. I'm like, weird. Okay, cool. So they literally must have found like an old roll of pink fabric and were like, <laughs> sure. perfect, jumpsuits. Um, so this is a size small, extra small. And I like that it has a little like racing straight mm -hmm. down the side too. Super cute. Then I found, this has already sold. So I'll just do this. It's, it was a vintage Ramones t-shirt. That I threw to you. Yeah. There's that. This is, I like these. So this is a local Minnesotan company. I found a hoodie for myself as well. The company is called Soda Clothing, and they make this, like, Minnesotan geared, like, lake, like, Twin Cities kind of stuff. It's really cute. Um, this is a size large, and their stuff is so nice. It's so soft. So this one just says Mini Thora, and it has this nice little, like, raw hem on the bottom as well. Mm -hmm. Super cute. And I found... <sighs> I would have found this, like, a while ago. I would have had mm, a lot of money. Um, this is just a gap, a little spell out... Uh, kangaroo pocket sweatshirt. If you ever find like the navy blue one of these with the white letters, that one's an easy like $75, $90 because Miss Emma Chamberlain wore it. Hey, Same with the brown. So next is another vintage item. This is a, a vintage Harley Davidson women's size extra large little white sweater and I love that it has the Harley Davidson going down the sleeve. I think that's super fun. That Someone just like left that at the top. Of yeah, the and I was like... Thank you. Okay, I'll do one more and then I'll give it back to Jack. So this is just like a little no-name button-down, but I thought it was super cute going into Easter. It has a little bunny poking out and a little carrot <laughs> on the top. It says size large, but it's obviously not a size large, so I think I have it listed as like a small. It's I cute will just though. wrap mine up because I don't have a ton left. <laughs> so this is actually sold as well. This is a Sundance, and it's size small, and I really like this. It's just like a gray t-shirt with this like I boho sheer floral puffy sleeves. This is like the grown woman's version of that free people have. <laughs> yeah, I knew it's that would so do good, cute. and it did. And then this one I really like too. This is Sundance size medium, and it's this really pretty floral printed shirt, and it has some like embroidered flowers in it as well. That's I'm really sure, pretty. I'm sure that one will go pretty quick too, but that one is available. This is super, super nice too. This is Banana Republic size zero, and it is the boyfriend blazer. Oh. 
And I love the like statement gold yeah. double breasted buttons. They're These, actually like, brass buttons. Faux double breasted because there's no holes to button them together. You wear it open. It's but it's really like cute. long and oversized, so you don't actually have to be a zero to wear it. Then we have this Madewell shirt, which probably will end up being consigned. It's just a little too plain for me, but it is a newer label. Size small. And it's like the stardust. But it like something. it weighs nothing. So like you're yeah, obviously I'm not gonna, gonna skip get them in the bins. It. Yeah. Same with this, but actually this has a few likes already, so it's doing some. This I would hundred percent keep. Says medium free people, and it's this like kind of It's like a little gauzy button down. gauze yeah shirt. It's kind of plain, but I feel like that's a, it's like the really hippie stuff or like that kind of stuff. <laughs> Two more things. I am obsessed this with this. This is amazing. This, oh. I would assume, is vintage because there are no labels in any way, shape, it's or form. It's, like, made out of a quilt, almost. There's no labels anywhere. It's so cute. But this is a uh, crochet tank top. It's so cute. It's so and nice. very Y2K. And one side, it looks like it had split and someone, like, stitched it back together. It's very well put back together. And then this side is, like, a little, like, makeup-y and then there's one tiny makeup spot somewhere in the front. But all in all, it's in great shape. It's so cute. And it's so freaking cute. And this is 100% handmade. I literally had this like, listed for a day so far, and it already was a host pick. Love that. And my last thing is a brand that I literally never pick up, but I really like this. You it's got two of these. Ann Taylor Loft. And the pumpkins. Oh, well, that's, yeah, they're in gray. True. Medium large, and that's actually an older label, which is even more reason for me to not get it. But this is a cape, and capes yes. actually do very, very well, I've it's noticed. so cute. I love these, like, vintage, like, really heavy-duty, like, faux leather-coated buttons. And then, yeah, your arms just come out here. Super, very super nice. Regal. Yeah, and I love these, like, trench coat-style shoulder Like, shoulder doodads. Yeah. Super cute. Okay, next up for me is a pair of Torrid jeans this is the boyfriend style these are a size 20 regular and there is unfortunately one teeny 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 tiny little mark on the knee but like i don't really think it's that big of a deal and i will definitely not skip a good old pair of tour jeans in the bins then i found this really cute j crew skirt and most j crew i leave behind even at the bins because it just doesn't sell mm -hmm. but this is the new tag with the little cursive tag it is an extra extra small but i think this style is super trendy and i love this color so it's this like satin looking elastic slip skirt and it's absolutely adorable it's a midi length Super cute. I found cute. a lot of like small but really cute J. Crew this trip. So then I got this smart wall. This is a size small, just a classic little bubblegum pink base layer. Love there that. are no holes in it, thank God. Even though with smart wall, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just like, I prefer it if there's no. Yeah, it's still better than that. Then, so this is Simply Couture. I've never heard of this brand before, but I could not leave this sweater behind. I oh, yeah, think I, I have it listed as an XL or an XXL, um, but it's just this really nice little like tan blush pink sweater with this really pretty daisy, I think these are daisies, embroidery on the sleeve. It's funny these because I actually saw that when I was at a bin next to you and threw it into your bin and you didn't notice me throw it at you, and then I just... but you still ended up getting it, so that's hilarious. Love that. Then, because I can't go two days without picking up something champion, this is a champion gray bleach dyed little sweatshirt with the cut in the neck super cute little cropped kangaroo style this one's an xo but it doesn't say yell on it no it doesn't say yell done <laughs> then this is just a little target t-shirt but i thought it was cute it says oh, be I kind to your mind and it's just this little stonewashed t-shirt these little hippie graphics on it this one is a size large then this one i'm talking about like good new um small j crew so this is a size two and this is just a really nice little pair of dress pants which I've actually noticed. Just like the gray dress pants. Sometimes the like dressy work J. Crew stuff actually does better. I think that's kind of what people shop there for now is like the stuff that they can like wear to work that like fits people that are a little more modern. Then I found this older Madewell piece, but I still got it because I thought it was cute. It's Madewell 1937, which this is the older Madewell tag, extra small. But I just thought this was a cute little like fit and flare dress and it's in a really nice condition the black isn't faded there are no pit stains like this fabric doesn't have yeah, any snags on it. it i was gonna say i can always take it to a consignment store and there's pockets 
to mm -hmm. like, what's not to love? A win-win. I was going to say. <laughs> and then my final thing is, no, I lied, I have two more ties. I think you're never telling the truth when you say this is my last thing. Like, you always say that and you're like, oh wait, no, four more. What does Mr. Krabs say? Because I'm a filthy liar. And then he runs away and cries. I don't remember what episode that's in. Oh, the grandpa episode. So this is free people, size, extra small, small. She definitely needs a lint roll because when you live in a house with two beige dogs and you bring in a black knit sweater, it doesn't always bode well. So I will lint roll this one final time very well before shipping it. I honestly might even pack it at our storage unit. Um, but this is just like a gridded black knit sweater. I like that it's like, you can, yeah, there it is. Like the different varieties in the knit. It's super cute. And I like that. And then my two ties. This one is a Ted Baker tie. Cute. Super cute. And then this one that has a little bit of wear on the underside of this, like the silk was kind of, you know, got washed. This is um, a Mario Valentino, which is like older Valentino. And that's all we got. That is finally all that we have, even though I literally said, I don't want this to be 40 minutes and now it's and 50. And it's 10 minutes more than that. If okay. you want anything, everything is listed in our Poshmark. Yes. Or so, contact us directly on Instagram. I guess this could have been two parts, but too late Absolutely now. Absolutely. So we will see you guys on Saturday. Both yes. of us will see you on Saturday. And, and then... I will see you next, next week. Yes. And the question of the day, do all birds sell for you? <laughs> Let us know below. I know. And I will see you guys next week too, but Ryan won't. So. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye, I guess. I'm goodbye. going to Disney. Bye.